All right, so I'd like to say this is a viewer. Uh, hi, Phil. I really appreciate you taking the time to chat over WhatsApp and agreeing to have a look at the console. Quick background of issue. Console was overheating. I replaced the thermal pads with two millimeter ones and the paste with liquid metal. Now, okay, keep this in mind, okay? Um, I replaced the thermal pads with two millimeter ones and paste with liquid metal. Uh, it was working fine for a couple of days, but then it just started to do the turn on, chime, and two seconds later, power off. I've stripped it down again, had a look, and didn't notice anything that jumped out at me. Hopefully, you were able to sort it. So, this has been liquid metal. Um, so, there's the note. I've obviously had to cover up his details, but this has been liquid metal. So, what I'm thinking is that either because the, the RAM is not meant to have thermal pads, okay. The RAM is not meant to have thermal pads. It's meant to have viscous paste. Um, so what I'm thinking is either too much pressure has been put on the RAM and that has caused the solder balls on some of the RAM to crack or liquid metal has seeped out. So there's two things that could have gone wrong here, in my opinion. Um, liquid metal has seeped out or the, those RAM pads are too, too fat and it's caused the RAM to... to uh, to crack the solder balls under the ram to crack so the this one i thought would be the perfect repair to do as i've just liquid metal my own computer right i'm entering if there's an iron on the go yeah there's a t12 going to be on the go this is just overeating I can hear the fan ramping up. This is overheating. There's nothing wrong with the console. It's still turned on right now. FYI, this is mine. Yeah, listen to it. Can you guys hear that? Uh, no, you can't read all CPUs with just a soldering station, mate. You need uh, a BJ rework station. Um, apart from the Nintendo Switch. Right, I'm going to turn this off. I don't know if anyone can hear that, but it's actually getting louder than my voice right now. Um, yeah, that liquid metal application hasn't been hasn't been applied properly. Um, oh, it, this is yours. It would shut down straight away. Huh. Okay, so MRK, this is your console. I thought this would be the perfect job for this particular um, stream because I've just liquid metal my laptop. But I don't think that thermal paste has been, that thermal, um, that liquid metal has been applied properly. If you want me to look at it, I'll look at it. Um, or if you want to sort it, try and sort it yourself. I mean, you obviously know how to take them apart. That's completely up to you, mate. Go for it. Cool. Okay. No problem, mate. I will. Uh, I will get to it. And uh, see what we can do with it. So, yeah, as the note says, it's had liquid metal. Um, judging by that sound, the console itself is working. but just overeating. So, I've got a feeling that the liquid metal has probably all cur curled up into a little bunch. Uh, obviously, liquid metal is a liquid. So, you know, it could have it could have ended up forming back in the center and not applied properly. Do you answer emails? I do, but not on weekends. Right. There we go, finally. All right. So I'll get this taken apart. There we go. I mean, that thermal pad on the south bridge is fine. Like this, this one here is absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with putting that there. Um, but I think two millimeter might be a bit thick for the RAM, maybe. But I just haven't got enough viscous paste to be able to put it there. I'm not sure on the dimension of the um, thermal pads. 
Right, a new retro repair. Get yourself one of these, mate. Get yourself one of these, buddy. I've actually got two. I've got another one somewhere. What's this? You ready? Bam. Bam. <laughs> right. So because this has got liquid metal, I'm going to hold the heat sink. Flip it upside down. And try and get the board as flat as I can. Yeah, there's not enough on there, mate. There's not enough on there. That's why it's overheating. Right. Yeah, nowhere near enough on there, buddy. Please be neat. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't... I don't know if it's wise... Having those uh, capacitors on the APU unprotected, to be honest, when I did mine, I put conformal coating on it. Um, now, the problem is that's going to take forever to actually conform or coat all of them and actually be able to seal it properly. Oh, my God, no, you've protected it, haven't you? That's showing that you've put some of it on there. Hang on. I think you might have missed some. I think you might have missed some. I think you might have missed a roll just there, mate. You put nail polish on it? Yeah. Yeah, there's a roll missing, look. Can you see that? I can fix that with some conformal coating. I don't have any of this stuff that you've used. Yeah, I use solder mask, mate. That's what I used on my laptop. I could solder mask them. I mean, that there's not many there. I mean, the, the liquid metal is probably not going to overspill anyway. I hate the mech clamps. I think they're pretty good. It can seep, yeah. It can. Yeah, I've actually cut through traces on the mech clamps, personally. I've actually hit a trace and fixed it. Um yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put some conformal coating on these ones that I haven't got anything on because that's not protected as it is, as it stands right now. Um, so, yeah, basically, we've got some unprotected caps, and then there's also um, the fact that there's not enough liquid metal on there. Um, and that's probably why it's overeating. Do what you think is best. Cool. No worries, mate. No worries. I'll protect them. I'll do them the same way I've just done my laptop. Um Basically, that's just a um, bit of conformal coating everywhere. I mean, that, that layer there right now is too thick. Obviously, that gets spread, spread around. But that's what I used on my laptop. So, obviously, if you're using something to spread these just don't scratch a CPU I'm not going to be giving you this as a guide because I'm not that experienced doing it myself I've done it but I've not I've not got that much experience so if you if you follow what I do here it's at your risk okay if I was to break this by doing it this way I would pay for it 
So I'm just saying, don't follow this as a guide and expect me to take responsibility if you screw up. Some, you need some boxes and labels. <laughs> I've got boxes and labels, but don't use them. There you go. I'm happy with them. Cool. Right, UV pen. If it's got any juice left in it. Uh, let's get it off there. So you only need a thin layer of this. Yeah, don't don't um, determine a dead CPU or GPU by caps around it. They are all low impedance and they will always show a short unless you've got a very expensive machine. You need a very expensive machine to be able to test. Um, I think it's a very expensive ESR machine or ESR tester to be able to test capacitors around an APU or a CPU, GPU. They are very low impedance. It's going to take some time. It don't take that long. Don't forget it's a very thin layer as well. That should be good. I'm just cleaning these tweezers off and I'll check it. Yep, yeah, that's hardened. So that's a very thin layer that's around here. That's why that's pretty much... Well, it's not scraping off, but it's making marks in it. It's not coming off onto my finger. This is my f middle finger. And that's not coming off, so that's all cured. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Right, let's apply some more liquid metal. Let me turn the brightness down. So you guys can see. I'm only doing this under the scope so you so you guys can see it. So we only want liquid metal on the die, or rather on the heat spreader. So I'm going to be very careful when I apply the metal. And we don't want too much either. And the good thing is, you can suck it back up with the with the syringe.
So you don't want to you don't want a big puddle of this stuff. You don't want a massive amount. Looks like solder. Kind of. So you obviously don't want it to overspill when you press down on it. And that's honestly probably a little bit too much. So I have got another syringe here somewhere. Because the syringe has just popped out of this one. There it is. So I've got another syringe which I use to suck up the liquid metal. So I'm going to suck up a little bit. And then spread it back out. So a couple of bit more. There you go, that should be absolutely perfect. That should be the perfect amount of liquid metal. So you can see now that that's not flowing everywhere when I tilt it. That's pretty much what you want. You want a nice even layer, but you don't want it to flow everywhere and move around all over the APU when you do tilt it. So that should be absolutely perfect. I'm not sure what it is that's in there, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not really that far into it. Um, right, so heat sink. We also need to make sure that the heat that the liquid metal can bond to the heat sink itself. So what I do is I'll get some liquid metal and I'll drop some liquid metal onto the heat sink itself. And then just spread it around a little bit. But this liquid metal isn't going to stay on there. This is literally just to help it bond to the copper. So I'll kind of scrape the copper a little bit just to allow it to bond. And then I'm going to suck it back up again. There you go, and um, because I've got no more syringes to be able to suck it back up, I'm just going to clean it up with a cotton swab, just to soak a little bit of it up. That should be perfect. I'm going to get that straight out of the way because it is conductive. Uh, there's a nice thin layer on there now. So let's... Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to make sure that these pads none have ended up doubled up. Yeah, them pads might be a bit thick. Sadly, I don't have enough viscous paste there to be able to replace them. I mean, they might be okay, but 
I'll have a look at the clearance in a second. Just make sure that's not going to spill out. Uh, where's the extra camp gone? There. Okay, that should be good. Right, reassemble and test. Flip it upside down, because these boards are upside down on these, when they're actually in the case. Fingers crossed, that it's gonna work. Gio, thank you for the five pound super sticker. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you. That sounds like a dream. That sounds like a dream, guys. <laughs> and that sound played at the perfect time. Let's see if we've got a, a display. Right, that has frozen, which means we do have video signal because it's just changed resolutions. Deactivate and reactivate, and there we go. Oh, put the liquid metal on backwards. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yep, yeah, it was definitely overeating, bud. It was definitely overeating. I like that. I have to. I have to flip it backwards because of the um, left. Left is left and right is right thing with the HDMI capture. It's weird. Um, yeah, that was definitely overeating. Let me get a test controller. Of course, you want to update. Yeah. I assume it's okay to update, mate. You can't play that game unless you do. Yeah, the password subscribe, mate. Typical, yeah. It's always the same, mate. Actually, saying that, yeah, I should have known that because you've got a green screen. You haven't got the new black screen. Cool. I'll update that. Uh, right, I'll leave that to update. I'm going to go grab a fresh cup of coffee, guys. Um, and uh, I'll let that update. It won't take that long. I'll take it this is the intensive game then, mate. If that's the one you want me to play. Or rather, the one you want me to test. I'm not going to be able to play it. My screen is far too small because uh, I'm, lo I'm looking through the capture card and the only other screen I've got has got a broken screen. Um, it's literally just my test screen, basically. So I'm not going to actually be able to play it. But I can leave it running for a little while just while I find my... Um, Just while I find my uh, my cable, or try and find my cable. Be fine as it is. I think it is, mate. I think it's absolutely fine. It doesn't feel like it's getting too hot. Um, I think it's perfectly fine now. I think it literally was just overeating. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get this back together now. What's wrong with Xbox? Um, it was... Um, well, the customer sent it in because it was pairing off. Uh, but it turned out that the liquid metal they applied just wasn't app applied enough. There wasn't enough liquid metal on it. Um, he'd modded it with liquid metal and there just wasn't enough on it. That was all. Uh, so fairly simple. Fairly straightforward. Uh, right, that's all done. So... I'm assuming another happy customer. Uh, 